Today we're going to talk about squatting deep and how to get there. I want to tell you a story. So I had a client who's doing this exercise that she got from her physical therapist, a really good physical ther therapist that I know in San Francisco. If you need one, let me know. His name is Joseph Sinelli. You got to look him up. Okay, so he's doing this uh, rocking and rolling exercise where, so she lays on her back and she grabs her legs and she rocks like this and then rocks like back. Okay, so that's like level one. And then what she progressed to was coming up into a squat and then coming back down. What she was finding was when she caught herself in her squat, she wasn't able to prevent this from happening. She had to catch herself like this and then come back up. So she would start here with her feet here and she would end here with her feet here and her knees in. So what that is to me, that, that's telling me that she doesn't have a way to squat really deeply. So I want to talk you through what we did with her. Instead of trying to force her into the right position at the bottom, we're going to start from the top down, okay? When the knees collapse in and when the weight shifts forward, all of this stuff happens together. And the big thing I want you to notice is what happens here in this gray area here, this t-shirt of mine. So this skeleton, your back, extends up like this. And that steals your mobility from every joint in your body. All the way, you know, you're looking at the spine, right? It's the spine, it steals spine motion. Yes, it does, but it also steals motion from your big toe, because everything is connected, okay? So, if she can't maintain this spinal position, she's never gonna be able to do it. And if she can't maintain her hip position from doing the same thing, she's not gonna be able to get that low squat. So we're gonna start from the top down and get this gray stuff to be better. So, what we start with is just a normal squat. I say exhale, get the air out of the way, and tuck your hips. So just like this, I'm not like an armadillo. My butt's not arching out way back. I'm somewhere in the middle, okay? So we start there. Okay, I got my position. And then we're just gonna come down pretty slowly. I'm gonna have a little bit of a narrower stance than I might for a, for a performance type of squat. And come on down really slowly again this isn't a performance type squat, right? We're not trying to go fast. We're just trying to demonstrate our mobility and we're trying to find that mobility. So I'm coming down, still got the air out and I can just keep going until I run out of room. Now I won't run out of room because I'm super flexible and I don't mean that as a compliment, <laughs> but for her, she ran out of room right about here. And then you saw her butt stick way out she couldn't hold it and she couldn't load her legs anymore and she started to hold her breath and whew, and she gave up okay so that's a good area for her to stop so what i did next is i said let's set up the exact same way and we're going to get there and we're going to stop and i just want you to hold take a breath get comfortable and then come back up so it looks like this she might be here whew, now she's here and she comes down and she feels herself losing it. She says, hold right here. Okay. Now you can hold there for a number of breaths or you can go back to that spot for a number of reps. But that's a good way to start working yourself down into deeper and deeper squats. If you can't do it that way, you shouldn't be able to do it this way, right? You shouldn't be able to do it under heavy, heavy loads as long as you're not some advanced athlete, and we can talk about that some other time.